Hello and welcome to Cisco DNA Center training video series. My name is Varun Anantaraman. I'm a technical marketing engineer working in the Cisco DNA Center team. Cisco DNA Center is a powerful network controller and management dashboard that provides secure access to your networks from anywhere, simplifies management, ensures network and application performance, and facilitates off-site IT teams. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of Cisco DNA Center high availability and the capabilities it offers. As you know, today Cisco DNA Center manages your campus network infrastructure, which comprises of both wired and wireless devices like switches, routers, wireless LAN controllers and access points, and of course the end clients. If there is a service outage or performance degradation on the network, the cost of downtime can be very high for businesses. Cisco DNA Center helps you move fast to proactively identify and fix the root cause of the problem. With so much running on Cisco DNA Center, it is imperative to provide redundancy capability so that when one appliance fails, another can automatically take over with very minimal impact. Here's why high availability is needed. Cisco DNA Center's HA framework is intended to minimize downtime that results from failures and makes your network management more resilient when they take place. When a failure occurs, this framework helps to restore your network to its previous operational state. Data is replicated across all the nodes, which I'll talk about later in this video. You can gain access to the entire cluster graphical user interface by a single virtual IP, and it is this virtual IP that connects to other network services like DNS, NTP, and also to the network devices that Cisco DNA Center will manage. I would now like to highlight some of the key points of high availability. HA clustering provides continuous service when certain system components fail. Cisco DNA Center mandates a three node cluster configuration that communicates, shares, and replicates information to ensure high system availability, reliability, and scalability. A split brain scenario may occur when there is a temporary failure of the network connection between the cluster nodes. To avoid the split brain scenario, when a node fails, the other two nodes create a quorum and establishes a network partition between themselves and the failed node. Secondly, in a multi-node environment, the security features of a single node are shared to the other two nodes, including any certificates or trust pools. When you access the Cisco DNA Center cluster using the virtual IP and perform a software upgrade, it will trigger the upgrade on all the three cluster nodes. Lastly, a three node cluster configuration provides more computational capacity on the large and extra large Cisco DNA Center appliances. Let's now go through the supported features in high availability. To configure Cisco DNA Center with high availability, connect all the three cluster nodes to a layer two private network and ensure that the latency does not exceed 10 milliseconds round trip time. All the three cluster nodes communicate through the intra-cluster interface with a bandwidth of 10 gigabits per second. When high availability is configured on day zero, the service redistribution between the cluster nodes will take around 15 to 20 minutes. When one of the cluster nodes fail, the HA framework takes five minutes to detect the failure, after which the services on the failed node will be restarted on the other two cluster nodes. Anytime the HA framework determines that a change on a cluster node has taken place, it synchronizes this change with the other nodes. All the databases and messaging services are replicated. And finally, all incoming requests are load balanced across the three cluster nodes, thereby preventing more load on a single cluster node. There are three prerequisites to configure high availability. All the three appliances should have the same number of cores. On the smaller appliance, you may form a three node cluster with a combination of first and second generation Cisco DNA Center appliances. Install the same Cisco DNA Center software version on the three cluster nodes before activating high availability. Ensure that the three cluster nodes are deployed in the same location. To bring up a three node cluster with high availability, always ensure the seed Cisco DNA Center node is up and running before adding the other two cluster nodes. Install the second node and choose join a Cisco DNA Center cluster and wait until the installation is complete and repeat the same process to install the third node. 
make sure that the three nodes are successfully installed and operational with full stack deployed. You may now activate high availability from the system settings page on the Cisco DNA Center graphical user interface. Let's now log into a Cisco DNA Center cluster to check if high availability has been activated. Access the Cisco DNA Center graphical user interface through the virtual IP and enter the login credentials. On the home page of Cisco DNA Center, click on the hamburger menu and select system settings. On the left pane, scroll down to system configuration and choose high availability. You now see that the status is active and the three cluster nodes are green. Alternatively, you may access the System 360 page to view the high availability status. Click on View Services to see the list of services running on each cluster node and verify that the node status and services status are healthy. Now let's take a look at the failure scenarios. Cisco DNA Center supports both software and hardware high availability. A software failure occurs if a service fails on one node in a three node cluster due to any memory or storage issues. That service is either restarted on the same node or one of the other two cluster nodes. Hardware high availability is enabled by the presence of multiple appliances in a cluster, multiple disk drives within each appliance and multiple power supplies. When a single cluster node fails, all the services running on that node will be started on the other two cluster nodes. Note that Cisco DNA Center high availability can only withstand a fault tolerance of one cluster node, which means at least two cluster nodes should be up and running at any given time. Let's now summarize on what we have learned about Cisco DNA Center high availability. HA is very latency sensitive and hence the three cluster nodes cannot be deployed across different geographical locations. You cannot configure high availability on a three node cluster with different appliance scores and different Cisco DNA Center software versions. High availability deals with a cluster node failure by switching operations to a connected cluster nodes within a data center and it does not provide redundancy across data centers. You will have to configure Cisco DNA Center disaster recovery for geo-redundant deployment support. Here are some important references for Cisco DNA Center high availability and disaster recovery. The URL provides detailed descriptions and instructions on how to configure them. The links to both the guides will be posted in the description below. Thank you very much for watching this video on the overview of Cisco DNA Center high availability.